Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, two more uh, activities to share with you today on the theme of small-sided attacking. Uh, we've looked at 1v1s and uh, 1v2s. We're now looking at 2v1 overloads for the attackers and 2v2s. So the first activity, um, similar in setup to the previous ones I showed you. Um, we've got two attackers uh, who can move freely either side of this halfway line Goal and the goalkeeper at this end of the area. <clears throat> the defenders are locked into their zones, but they're working together. So there's one ball uh, between the two attackers and they can play combinations. They can both move into this side. They can both move to this side. They can split up. And basically the defender uh, becomes engaged when it's in their side of play. So they will still be working together during the activity, but there's also the opportunities for the attackers to get a 2v1 overload. OK, um, give them about 10 seconds for the attack. And after that 10 seconds, that's, you know, any more than that it becomes a little bit unrealistic. So maybe you want to swap the players over. Um, we can then move on to 2v2, which is essentially the same setup. You can keep the line across the middle if you want, especially working with younger players who are still learning uh, their trade a little bit. But now the defenders can move between the zones. So sometimes they may both, uh, both move across. Sometimes they may stay in their zones, but that all depends on what the attackers are doing. And again, give them about 10 seconds to for each attack. Now you can mix up what the defenders do if they win the ball. They can perhaps just pass it straight back to the goalkeeper. They may have to play a couple of passes, or they can even then become the attackers and the initial, initial attackers become the defenders. So attacking themes to focus on movement of the players, uh, support, when to dribble and when to pass, and for the defenders, uh, communication is important, particularly when they're working within their zones. Uh, cover, try and make play as predictable as possible and aggressive mindset to win the ball as quickly as they can. Uh, if you like the activities, please give them a retweet and have a great day.